If you strike me down now, I will become more powerful than your leather. Monkey Dragon. Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Dragon here, bringing you a DLC video. And by DLC, I mean the recreation maps that they make, and I'm gonna be talking about it from you know Modern Warfare 2 when they started it to into Black Ops 2 when they probably still be doing it. <laughs> And in Modern Warfare 2, they did recreation maps, and I think half the maps from the DLCs were all recreation maps, and a lot of people were upset that they were making us pay for maps that we already had, and all they had to do was just tweak it to bring it into the new game. And that's why in Modern Warfare 3, when they brought in Terminal, this map, they did not charge us. I'll talk about Terminal in just a second. And in Black Ops, they did a recreation of a World at War map, I can't remember the name of it, and instead of just bringing it in they actually changed it and tweaked it to make it look new it had a different feel some points were off you know but it was pretty much the general the same map which was pretty cool now in Mono for 3 I do believe that they only did one recreation map which is terminal and as most of you guys know I absolutely freaking hate terminal I find it a piece of poop of a map and it infuriates me whenever we play it it's okay K for TDM or Kill Confirm. The only problem I have with it is this right here. This jewelry store spawns is so hard that it's absolutely ridiculous. If I walk or turn the corner into anywhere besides this area, they will spawn right behind me in this jewelry store and kill me. I've literally sat in here before. Not so much sat in here, but I was holding down this point again. And they spawned outside the door of me, like right behind me. And they came and I went, oh, snaps, and then drop shot it. There. I killed them, but still, it's that is such a hardcore spawn point that it is unreal and as most of you guys know I absolutely hate it and the reason why I bring this up about how much I hate terminal is because every single fan favorite map that they say oh it's a fan favorite it's a fan favorite it's a fan favorite that's all I ever hear but most all my friends hate the maps that they keep saying it's a fan favorite it's a fan favorite and honestly we didn't even like the maps in the freaking first place we thought they were a piece of poop too we, we liked other maps a lot more, and I know there was a lot... Like, if I could remember correctly, I think the fan favorite map, if, if I'm just remembering correctly, was actually High Rise. I absolutely love High Rise. I thought it was brilliant. They had a secret passageway. They had multiple routes through it. There was still cover from snipers. And then there was that really cool trick shotting spot that everyone went to up in that little crane. And then they also, you can get on top of the buildings. You know what I mean? It was a freaking great map. I absolutely love that map. That was a great map for search and everything. You know what I mean? And there was that little secret, not really secret, but in the beginning of the game, it was kind of a secret little jump how you can get onto the ladder, climb up top, and then get on the roof. You know? It was a freaking great map. I absolutely love that map. I think I know more people that loved High Rise and Terminal. And the reason why I say this is because I hope that they're going to do recreation in Black Ops, because, oh, my bad, in Black Ops 2, that, because I know they're going to do recreations. You know what would be funny? They actually did a recreation of the recreation from Black from World at War. You know what I mean? They recreated the one from Black Ops. It was recreated from the one that World at War. It was a fan favorite. <laughs> That'd be funny. But anyways, besides the point. And what I'm saying, guys, is if they are going to do recreations in Black Ops 2, which is more than likely what they are going to do, is hopefully they won't charge us because I'll be pissed if they charge us because that's absolutely ridiculous. And my second point is, which I really, really made this video for, is if they are going to bring a, a game, or a, not a game, but a map back, and they say it's a fan favorite, then let us vote for it. You know what I mean? They're like, because you know how in Black Ops, they did like three videos describing each map that was coming in, and then they got more depth, and then they did the map pack release, is why not before that, they actually give us a list of maps that they can bring in, and say, hey guys, here's a list of maps. You know, go to the Call of Duty... Uh, website and vote for your most favorite map and we'll bring it in for free you know what I mean because obviously they're gonna be bringing in if they charge us if they charge us they should most definitely do this let us vote for the map if they don't charge us then they should still let us vote for the map but you know what I mean I'm saying if they do charge us they should absolutely let us vote for the map absolutely no doubt and even if they don't charge us they should still let us vote for that because constantly saying it's a fan favorite map is bull because I know they're bringing back Newtown and if you guys played with me in World at War, you know I absolutely freaking hate Newtown, and I thought it was a piece of a fucking crap map. I thought it was absolutely horrible. I did not like it one bit. I thought it was so bad, because all you do was just spawn, walk a couple feet, and then throw a grenade. Then spawn, 
walk, you know what I mean? Just constantly just chucking grenades onto the other side. And it absolutely pissed me off. I thought it was absolutely horrible. I, I, if you know me, I absolutely hate all the small maps because the only maps that they're somewhat decent on, somewhat, just barely decent, is TDM and Kill Confirm if they had Kill Confirm. It's obviously not all the games before, you know, Mono for 3 is the first one with Kill Confirm. But even in Free For All, these maps are so small that when you spawn, you walk three feet, the guy spawned exactly where you spawn, and then you shoot him, and it happens in the reverse. And this happens all the freaking time, and it pisses me off. Because they're so small, because they can't fix the freaking spawn zones in these games. World at War had the best spawn system, honestly, that i ever seen. Although a lot of people got spawn trapped, but that was a good thing. In the sense that if you had a good team, and you shouldn't get punched for this. Obviously, and uh, not domination, but what is it? Demolition. If you get spawn trapped so hard that literally you just sit there, and they just constantly, you know, just knife and they can kill you. That's one thing. But what I'm talking about is a completely different kind of setup. Is... I'm trying to think of a good map that had it. Uh, I can't even think of it. Oh, Summit. Summit. You know how it had that two-sided map spawn? If your team was on one side of the map, your enemy team would spawn on the other side of the map. You know what I mean? You would constantly spawn, and it would be constantly like a mini kind of demolition game. Because you'd always spawn on the opposite sides of the maps. You'd always spawn with your team. You would not spawn behind the team, and then the team freaking dies. No, it would be only be if you push too far... Or if you just went completely into their spawn and then it flipped. You see what I'm saying? It was a good spawn system with the sense that you would always spawn with your team. And very, 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 very rarely would I ever spawn with the enemy and die. I would always be somewhat near my team. Either behind them, next to them, where they're pushing up into. And I wouldn't very rarely. I could probably count that on my fingers how many times I spawned, died in, in World at Not World at War. That's completely my bad. And Black Ops. And that, I think, I don't even think on Newtown, because we, I really hid in that map. If you guys know me at all, in all the small maps, I fucking, I camp. I, I won't even, I won't even deny it. I camp in the small map, super hardcore, because the hell if I'm going to die. This is what I say, especially in Modern Warfare 3, but in the small maps in any game mode. If you die once, you die five times. And what I mean by this is, as soon as you die, you're going to spawn die, then spawn die, then spawn die, then spawn die. And then, oh look, it finally puts you in a good position with your team. And that's what I mean by in these small maps, is if you die once, you die five times. And that's why in the small maps, I absolutely can't. I won't even deny it. I absolutely do it. But the whole premise of this is, if they are going to do a recreation, and I hope they vote for it, is what I want them to do is to actually do a recreation of Firing Range. Because Firing Range was my all-time favorite Black Ops map. That map was awesome. It was small, but not too small. It was medium and it had long sniper ranges, but still had secret passageways and little paths. Not so much secret. The reason why I say secret is because they're hidden. The snipers can't hit you while you're kind coming up behind them. And it was, it was, had long corridors, but small corridors. Had good buildings you can get up to. That one secret little area. Not really secret. I say secret because not too many people go up there. Not too many people check up there. It's that little crow's nest up there. Not too many people. You could probably get three people before they would notice that you're up there. And that's what I mean by little secret is not that you know oh, everyone knows about it is that not that many people use it and not that many people think about it because not that many people use it and that's what i mean by secret and that's why i love black ops Smash. they were so good like that but you know now thinking about my fan favorite what's your guys a fan favorite honestly because i know some of my friends they actually loved wmd but wmd was all right for me it wasn't my fan favorite but whatever but anyways guys we reach the end of this video so like the video if you liked it subscribe to me if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to tell your friends about me. I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I got. Peace. Thanks for watching. And if you guys want to learn more about my $20 gift card giveaway, click the video on the bottom left corner of your screen. And if you guys want to join my Call of Duty Elite Clan, but you don't know how, or if you want to learn how to make a Call of Duty Elite account, I have a tutorial on how you can do just that. Click the video on the middle bottom of your screen. And if you guys want to do a dual commentary with me, or want me to commentate over your, some of your gameplay, click the video on the bottom right corner of your screen, leave a comment on that video saying, I want to do a dual commentary with you, or hey, I want you to commentate over some of my gameplay. And if you're randomly selected, then I'll do either both or, you know, either the commentate over your gameplay or do do commentary with you.
And now, if you want to watch some of my search and destroy tips and tricks, click the video in the middle of your screen and it will take you to the first video of a playlist where it has all my search and destroy tips and tricks, tactics, map walkthroughs, custom class setups, and all that big old mumbo jumbo. And now if you want to watch my two most favorite videos that I've made while doing my YouTube career, one well, of my most popular ones, click the videos on your right corner of your screen, either the left one or the right one. Both are my two most favorite videos.